Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're doing well. This is Steven Gattaletta with The Self-Fulfillment Project. And in today's video, I want to talk about something I meant to make a video about a long time ago, but never got around to it. And that's how important it is to bring your own personal element to every area of your life. We are kind of scared, or inhibited is probably the better word. We're inhibited a lot um, in society about revealing personal things about ourselves, even simple things we don't want to reveal to our other people, not because we're afraid of being harmed, we're afraid of how people will react if they know us personally. But if you think about it, all deep relationships, all relationships in general actually, are based on people being a bit vulnerable. And I made a video about this before, how vulnerability can be your greatest strength. I'll put a link right here and also in the description. But today's video is going to be about the importance of bringing, of revealing yourself a little bit, of bringing your own personal element to things. And I think the best way I can do this is by giving you examples. And the purpose of this is to deepen relationships and create more meaningful relationships. And the first example I have is my sociology teacher. Um, it was intro to sociology. I had him last semester. And he, he talked a lot. He wasn't the best professor in the world, wasn't the best teacher, but he was an excellent man, a great man. And he was very open about some of his own experiences and how sociology itself, the study, impacted his life and how important it was to him. And because he shared his personal history, uh, very specifically he shared with us that uh, his wife had passed away um, and all the struggles with that about the medicine she had to take and how she was deteriorating and how he missed her every day. I remember one time he told us, um, I don't know if it was a reoccurring dream he had or it was something that had happened to him that he forever regretted. I guess uh, his office was on the second floor and uh, his wife came up to the second floor and said, you know, I, I, I won't reveal his name, um, we'll call him, we'll call him Bob. She said, Bob, why do you always work all the time? Why don't you spend time with me? She said, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, Bob. And he said, no, I don't have time, I have to keep going on working. And she said, okay, and she passed. And he said, every time he thinks back on that moment, he regrets it. And he told himself he would never let her pass again. Never let her pass without kissing her, is basically what he told us. Don't let anybody pass without showing them how much you love, how much, showing them how much affection you have for them, because one day you will lose them. And the, when he shared these stories with us, he shared many with us, the whole, the class was captivated. Everybody listened. It, it was out of pure respect and pure empathy and understanding. People were drawn to this man because he was revealing something personal that we may not all experience what he went through, but all humans experience. All, all humans experience some level of pain. And these real, authentic, visceral um, f phenomena of human life when they're revealed by somebody we don't expect it from, right? A teacher. I never expected a teacher to share with me something so personal. I gained so much more respect for him. And the relationship that we had as student and teacher, and I believe the whole class had, was so much deeper. And we listened so much more attentively because of that. Because he trusted us with that. And another example was a concert I actually went to last night where the opening act was actually better than the main act. This guy's name was Chesky. I'll put a link in the description to some of his music. And the same idea, he revealed so many personal things about himself and I, I know people often do through art, but it's that instant connection you can have with somebody, that instant bond you can have. You know, the relationship is immediately taken to a deeper level because they're revealing that they're human too. We experience things just like you. And I know everybody 
I, everybody realizes that, that everybody has their own story or experience, but sometimes in the guise of the structure of society we have, you know, we just see people as teachers. We just see them as um, whatever job they have, right? Sometimes we put so many labels on people, so many attributes that aren't, that don't have to do with them as a human being, you know? I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. So many s social attributes, is that the word? Right? In the, in the constructs we have of a functioning society, we lose human humanness, human contact, human experiencing together, right? I mean, we sometimes feel so isolated, but I mean, look out there, all these people, every single one of them, if you can see them in the shot, every single one of them has a deep experience of pain, of happiness, of joy. They experience highs, they experience lows. And they may seem like strangers to me, but the minute we share stories, the minute we share experiences that are common, and God knows we do because we're all human beings, the minute we do that, our relationship is deepened and strengthened. I mean, think about all your personal relationships. I'm sure the ones that are more meaningful to you, the, the most important relationships to you are the ones where you shared yourself through experiences and maybe shared experiences together as well. So guys, I just think that's an important thing to realize is that in order to create deep relationships or a great way to create deep, meaningful relationships is to share personal things. Now I know we don't need to hear this about boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father, um, or even siblings or best friends. We already do this, but it's important to bring a personal element to every facet of your life, whether you're a manager, whether you're a cook, whether you're a teacher, you know, it's important, or student, it's important to bring a personal element. You don't have to reveal everything, but recognize how, how much a little openness and vulnerability can open yourself up and create a deep understanding relationship between people because we're all humans and we all experience these things. And sometimes all we want to know is that other people will experience them too and we want to share that with them. And, and, in the grand scheme of human existence and human experience. Because we're all different, and we're all unique in our way, but at the heart of it, we're all fundamentally human and are in this world together. That's it. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and leave a comment. I respond to all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy.